here we are again. Everyone's dead. The hourglass of time spent. Another fine mess you got yourself in, huh? It all seems like yesterday. Like an incredible age you just can't scratch. The short, sharp, stabbing sensation of your heart being shattered to a thousand pieces. And then, it's all over. They say that only time can heal the pain. I have slept with mine the last three years. It still hurts like yesterday. Someone once told me that love holds no boundaries. Now mine is at the end of a bottle. Cold. Dark. Unforgiven. Blissful bourbon. You know, I don't think I have enough whiskey to keep you here all night. It's getting late. And I closed ten minutes ago. Just, uh, a few more minutes. Oh, sugar. She has really got to you, huh? If it makes you feel any better, I used to get stood up all the time. Now I just don't give any of the fuckers a chance. Too many other important things to worry about. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like what? Like standing here talking to your sorry ass about why you got stood up. Oh, come on. Lighten up. Don't be so serious. In all honesty, though, you ask me, your date's nothing but trouble. You're a good man, Max. And you can do better. Hmm? But, if you ever need of a real good shoulder to cry on, look no further, honey.
it's all my house. Mm. Welcome to the land of the living. I hope you're feeling comfortable. Lights. <laughs> Let me tell you how this works. I don't care about you, your wife, or your family. All I care about is why. Oh. Why have you been talking to Mona? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. That's why we're here. Look at me. Look at me! Let's start again. Why have you been talking to Mona? I promise you, I haven't. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm with you on this. You know that. Maybe you're getting me confused with someone else at the end. <clears throat> oh. Please. Please. Please, I beg you. For mercy. What do you see when you look at me? I don't know. You run these streets. You're the boss. You're Jack. No. Not just Jack. Ego sanguientos. Habitat. Mm-hmm. 
Did you know that there's a battle of two wolves inside of us all? One is good, and the other not so good. Do you know which wolf wins? The one you feed. I am the wolf that should have never been fed. And I'm real hungry. It seems you have something to hide from me, Detective. I already know that Mona has the file. And we are dealing with her. But more importantly, I know how she got it. The information. I pay for you to keep a secret. And it must always remain that way. Yes, that's it. Let go of you. He who would say unto the Lord, and revel in the flesh of fallen angels, blood, blood to you all. <laughs> Called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. It seems that the city's psychiatric nightmare drug has taken a turn for the worse, with numerous reports of Valkyr cases popping up around the city. The NYPD Deputy Chief Jim Bavura stated that if the noose isn't tightened soon, the city could be in fear of a Valkyr pandemic.
better. I see you decided to show up. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Are you? Or is this just another one of those stunts you're trying to pull? Must it always be like this? Like what? This. I'm a fugitive, Max. We're both on opposite ends of the field. You know how this ends. There can be no us in this. Max, I didn't come here to argue. I have very little time. Please. It's important. I'm all ears. This is from a little something I've been working on. I think you'll find the information interesting. All the evidence you need to tie down one of the most addictive street drugs to the guy who's pushing it. Jack Lapino. Oh, no. Where'd you get this file? Now, wouldn't that be telling? Think of this file. Hmm? Yeah, think of this. It's a game. Some people like Lapino will not think twice. Jack Lapino will get what's coming to him. And what about what's coming for you? Listen. Whatever trouble you're in, let me help you. My hero. I'm beyond help. Please. Will you tell them where you got this file? You're a good man, Max. But I can't tell you. Some things we just have to do alone. Please don't follow me when I leave. I'll meet you at our usual spot in two days at nine o'clock. If you don't show up? Let's just pray that I do. You're a real angel, Max. I wish things could have been different. Max? In that file, you'll find some information on your wife. I'm sorry. I just thought you should know.
forgive you for letting me die, Max. <sighs> Sorry if I woke you. What? I'll always love you, Max. I love you. Don't speak. You may have only one. What do you want me to do with Mona? 
I want you to give it one last try. And if she doesn't tell you what she did with the files, kill her. About time. Oh, and if she does decide the hard way, have a little fun with her first. In order to fight crime, sometimes you must become crime. The choices we make can open a Pandora's box of overwhelming consequence. You might even get your head blown off. I'm in too far to turn back now. Once you cross that line, there is no going back. For her, I would be willing to risk it all. For me, there's not much left but misery. So I might as well become the pain. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the boss wants you to talk. But me, I don't care what you do. Just cut to the good bit. 
Oh yeah. So much sexier when you're scared. <laughs> Where's Mona? I'm not gonna ask you again.
I'm going to enjoy this. Don't worry. We can make as much noise as we like. No one can hear you scream here. Who'd have thought? Death. Can taste so sweet. Let's play a little game. to leave you for a moment. Don't go anywhere. I'm okay. I, uh, honestly feared the worst. Thank you. How did you know I was here? I didn't. Just somehow knew. You would be. Did you stop looking at No. I was expecting to find him here with you. He's still out there. We need to stop him. We will. What's important is you're safe. Speak of the devil, and he's soon to appear. Excuse me for interrupting this moment. You really don't want to do that. Not if you care for her. Both your brains would be across the wall in a single heartbeat. We are both prepared to meet our makers. Is she? I'll make this easy for you. In about 60 seconds, the rest of my unit will be in here, ready to kill you both. You can leave now. Then we will hunt you down and kill you anyway. Or stay and realize the truth. Truth about what? The death of your wife. Ever wondered why? Why, Michelle? Come on, let's go, Max. Tell me. A lost sheep is more dangerous than the whole flock. Who sit idle and do nothing to help themselves. Your wife stumbled into something she never should have laid eyes on. We gotta leave now, Max. You know what it's like to be the lost sheep, don't you, Max? Lost to the shadows. Twisted by the actions of another. Quite ironic that your wife was killed by her own actions, don't you think? 
walk into the wrong information, people in high places rattle their cages. You've come a long way, but you've lost so much. Max! There will be no mercy. There can be no retribution for your wife. Death. 